Thank you. You only had um, you only had a chance to play in 35 games with Coos and Brad. In those 35 games, what was the chemistry like for you, and, and what did that feel like during those moments? It's true. 20, uh, 35 games only, and not ideal for us. Uh, I felt like we did have some good stretches where we clicked, and it was fun, and felt like if you take this away, we can do this, and if you take that away, then we have another weapon. Um, so there were glimpses of us playing really, really nice basketball, but at the end, 35 is, is not enough for guys that are playing together for the first time to really build something um, um, that, that uh, or, or not to build something, just to have a good rhythm as, a, as us and also as team, because once somebody's out, boom, the dynamic is all, again different. So not ideal and, and uh, led us to this kind of um, season. What do you think is needed for you guys to go from uh, where, where you rank in the league as a three-point shooting team to become um, an above-average three-point shooting team or maybe even an elite one? Uh, wh where are we? Like around like the low 20s, 21st, 22nd in the league. Yeah. That's a big part of today's game, shooting three-pointers, shooting a lot of three-pointers and shooting them at a high rate. Um, I... Um, I believe that has to be a big emphasis for uh, for whoever who who's going to be here next season to to get the percentages up. You know, it's a big, big emphasis. It has to be. It's at the end. It's uh, as we all know, like the numbers start to take over more and more in in, in basketball, and 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 uh, it's just the reality if you're more effective if you shoot a higher percentage you're going to win more games so um that has to be an emphasis and 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 yeah we're all going to be working in off season to to become a, a, a better players individually and then hopefully bring it together next season again what will you work on individually with your game what will i work on mm -hmm. um I'll have a lot of things on my mind that uh, I, I want to get better at. Um, I don't know if I want to uh, go into too much detail, but uh, I'll keep working on my f uh, f um, physical uh, ability, my body, to create even more space for myself because on every scouting report there is be as physical as you can with him and try to wear him down throughout the game and that's what teams do so i'm already much 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 better at it than i was early in my career for example but i still have i still feel with the rhythm that i had this season if i keep working on that and i keep getting better at that at that, that will help my game even more um so just to name one thing from you know that uh, that, that that's it and but there's definitely more stuff that I'll look into and I'll also gather information from Wes, from Dean, from my own sources that I'll put together a plan for this summer and, and take my game to the next level. Might be a premature question, but I don't know when we'll talk to you again, I guess. Have you decided whether you'll opt out uh, this upcoming summer? When will I decide, sorry? Or have you decided? Uh-huh. Uh, what's the... No, I think the, 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 I have to see what the timing is now. I, uh, I'm actually going to meet with my people, my team, uh, soon, tomorrow. And, and then I'm going to understand better how, what's the timing like and how this is going to look going forward. Uh, but of course, as any human being, I would like to have like clarity as, as soon as possible to, to have an idea of what's, what's coming. Uh, so more or less, that, that's, that's where I'm at right now. You've talked about, like in the city of D.C., how welcoming the organization has been, your own health, you know, just yeah. being where you would like it to be. Is it fair to say that if you were to opt out, you would want to re-sign long-term here? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I feel at home here. Uh, I, 
uh, believe it or not, I love the city. I know a lot of people are, I don't know, saying that uh, whatever is not a sexy destination for other free agents, but but I really like the city and and um, and just seeing how people are around the organization, how uh, especially people at the top, how proactive they are, and how much I see that there's willingness to get this to a better place uh, that in my eyes has a lot of value and and that kind of gets me excited so I'm looking forward to what's coming and, and, and yeah hopefully we have some clarity soon obviously you're close with Denny just where have you seen him growing the most in this third year of the NBA for him and where do you want him to continue to improve going into next year I think the, one of the main things I, I always hold him to is then we saw what we saw what you're capable of. You know your best games or even some stretches that he did multiple games in a row playing really high level. More for him is now more of having that consistency. You know, and that comes of course with experience, with age, with maturity. Uh, but I want to see more consistency from him throughout the year, and that's the challenge for him. Um, and keep working on his on his percentages. Keep working on his shot. Keep working on his decision making, and all these things. And, and slowly, it's gonna, you know, come together. And and he will become the player that he envisions himself being. Uh, but uh, most importantly, that this guy has the has the want. He has the hunger. And uh, and I know uh, this summer he's gonna be he's he's gonna be working. He wants to get better. Uh, we're gonna to try to get together this summer too for some for some workouts together. So uh, expect a big summer from him and and, uh, and and growth. So so yeah, I think the best best is yet to come for for Denny for sure. Hey KP, how you doing? Good. Um, there's a quote that says you can't judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. There was a perception that you were not like a, a cool guy, but you came into Washington and people have really got to see your positive, cool personality. Um, what does it mean to know that you? that Washington has helped paint you into the person that we know you are? Mm, thank you for that, man. Um, yeah, of course, you have to leave a place, especially maybe that the way that it ha happened in my career, uh, there's some some baggage that you come with, you know, and some perception or some right. uh, some stereotype. Uh, and uh, it's not good to be in that situation, but at the end, the only thing that matters really is you can is, is how you play. It's how you play, and 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 that already changes a little bit of the perception. But then, of course, you show off or you show your personality. You show you just be yourself. And at the end, I feel like now, you know, the way um, the way I have showed myself here in uh, Washington and and um, has it's changing a little bit maybe the perception about me. So. I'm uh, I'm just being myself, um, playing my game, trying to get better in every aspect of my life, and um, and then those things I think just take care of themselves. And then one more for you. I know Kevin Durant called you the unicorn, but do you have any nickname maybe from back home or somebody like a teammate gave you that was like, oh, I like that one too? Not really. I don't think I never. I mean, I had some, but more like funny ones. Okay. More like funny ones. Yeah, I think the unicorn is the one that, like yes. basketball wise, kind of stuck. Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you. What were the funny nicknames? You gotta tell us the funny nicknames now. Oh, they were like mean. Not mean, but uh, maybe out of line, line a little bit. Off the record. Good job. Very smart. Um, KB, I just wanted to know how valuable an off season that you're going into healthy. Uh, how valuable is that for you? Do you are you able to get more done just because you're not mm -hmm. recovering from anything? Um, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's big time. Big time for me to finish the season uh, like this. Um, in terms of like how my body feels and, and where I'm at and it's like a head start it's also a long off season um, I haven't had this kind of off season for a while uh, no actually last year last year we finished around this time or no yeah okay so wrong but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah just how my body feels and how I felt throughout the year it's uh it's just, I don't know, my mind is just like, I'm so, so like up and energetic about this off season that I f feel like I could take my game many levels up still. And 
and I always say like I'm only like scratching the surface of my prime in my in my own eyes <clears throat> and um and I'm excited. I'm excited for what's coming. I'm excited for this off season, and and uh, yeah, that's it. What do you attribute to uh, you being as healthy as you were this past season? Um, I think uh, good question. Um, I have to give credit to the people here. PJ uh, has been uh, has been great. Um, uh, added many new things to my routines. Uh, the people that I have worked with for a long time. Um, I've put a good support system around me. And also just me, my body maturing. I think I had a few like bumps on the road throughout my career. And uh, and you always learn something. And and yeah, and adding uh, having that experience and, and now adding some more pieces and, and ideas and things to my to my journey uh, has helped me and, and it's been a great year. Just the signal just to just obviously on the court first five games is not a lot for you riding coups, but off the court, how would you assess just the chemistry and you know the camaraderie mm -hmm. that you know then translate to mm -hmm. no, I think it was great since the beginning of the season. Uh, throughout the season, I think everybody got closer. Uh, really, like, fun locker room. I'm gonna say it was a fun locker room. Um, it's always much more fun when you're winning. Though. When we had those stretches when we were winning, it felt like, man, we're unstoppable, we're invincible. We got the turbo on, like everything's just clicking, you know. So we want to move going forward. If 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 all of this stays the way it is, then. Uh, we want to have more of those moments. We want to just feel invincible and, and have that swagger about us. So um, there's there's stuff to look forward to for sure. And uh, but uh, overall, as as people, as just players, I would say great chemistry in my opinion.